Welcome back to the Beamer Barn. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys my top five favorite coding features for the E90 and E92 platform. Now, I'm gonna attach a full list in the description below for you guys to check out, but today we're just gonna be focusing on my 2010 335i. We're gonna start out by disabling the adaptive headlights, and then I'm gonna show you guys a couple of cool comfort and functionality features that we're gonna enable as well. We're using NCS Expert, and I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step -step what I'm doing, so hopefully you can learn and do this yourself at home. Now, before we start, the video go ahead and drop a like down below because it would really help support the channel and without further ado let's get straight to work now before we get started coding it's really important that you have a healthy battery and if you don't you probably want to grab a trickle charger and that's going to make sure that you don't drop down in voltage through the coding process because that would damage the modules now to get your car ready to code, there's a couple more things I would recommend you do. Obviously the car needs to be at position two, but we're gonna take off any unnecessary electrical loads like the air conditioning, and we're also gonna turn off the radio. Now you don't wanna open or close any doors while you're doing coding, otherwise the car might go to sleep and that would interrupt any processes you were doing. So I like to put the car door closed and also in a locked position. And then we're also going to turn the headlights off because those HIDs do draw a lot of current. Finally, we're gonna plug our seatbelt in as if someone was sitting in the car. And again, this is just to make sure the car doesn't go to sleep. Now here is the K plus DCAN cable that I'm using. I'll go ahead and link this in the description below. You're gonna need one as well as NCS Expert downloaded on your computer. Now before you start up NCS Expert, you should probably load up Infa, and that way you can check that your cable is connected. Now if both of these boxes aren't checked, then you might have a bad cable, or you might have a bad OBD port, or a bad FRM module. As long as that's good, you can proceed to loading up NCS Expert, and we're going to load up the manipulation profile that is supplied in the Beamer Geek Standard Tools download. Then we're going to select E89 for the E90 and E92 cars and we're gonna load our vehicle order information from the CAS module. Now to remove the adaptive headlight fault, we're actually gonna remove the feature from our programming entirely. We're gonna edit the vehicle order of the car, select our chassis, confirm that the VIN is correct, and then we're gonna to go to the option dollar sign five two four, select it, and then press delete so that it disappears, and then click OK. And then we're gonna go back a page and we're gonna select the ECU. We need to do the CAS and the FRM module. So we're gonna select the CAS here. And then we're going to change the job to FA write, and that's gonna write the vehicle order to the CAS module. And then after you do this, you also want to code the CAS module, which is actually something I forgot to do here. But after you've coded the CAS, you want to do the same procedure to the FRM. In my case, it's a newer FRM, so it's NFRM. Select it. We're going to go to FA write as our job, and then we're going to execute the job. And then we're going to go to CodeERN, which is coding, and we're going to code the module. And that should be it. So now I'm gonna give you a pretty detailed look at if we're just doing some coding changes like adding or disabling comfort features. So we're gonna go ahead and load up the manipulation profile just like before, and we're going to select the chassis E89 just like before, and load up the vehicle order from the CAS. Now once all that's loaded up, you wanna go back a page to the main menu, and we're gonna select the ECU that we wanna mess with. For this particular coding option, we need to load up the CAS module, and then we need to read the coding data. 
Once the coding data is read, we need to navigate to the work folder inside the NCS expert program. And you're gonna find two files here that look the same. The trace file is the one that's outputted from NCS expert and the man file is the one that's used to code your new data changes. So we're gonna open up the trace file with notepad and then I'm gonna use the control F function to find the particular option that we wanna change. And then once we found that option, we're going to change it from not active to active. Once we've changed that particular feature, we're going to go ahead and file save as we're going to change the file type to all file types. And then we're going to overwrite this document on top of the .man file, the man file. And that's going to replace it so that when we go ahead and change the job to coding, it's going to code the module with our new data and that should install our option for us. So this is definitely my favorite feature to add into the E90, E92, and that's the factory M3 velocity gauge that you get in the dashboard. And I think it looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and add that feature in here. And I'll just let you guys watch and follow along as I do these different coding features. But it's basically the same procedure for all the different options. You're gonna go ahead and check that list. You're gonna find the module that you need to code. And then you're going to read the coding data change the value that you want changed, save the new coding data, and then write it to the module. And then you're good. Trust me guys, this looks really complicated at first, but after you've practiced and you know and you understand what you're doing, it's very easy to do this coding on your own car. Now here's a really cool one too. You can enable Euro style hazard lights and that is a double blink. I think it looks really cool and unique so I went ahead and enabled it. Now the last one we're going to do is disabling the window safety feature. It's pretty annoying when you try to roll the windows up as you're leaving the car and then the windows stop rolling. So this is a really cool feature to disable and that way you can just put your windows up and not have to worry about the doors.
So that's going to conclude our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know down in the comments below what sort of coding features you would add on your car. And as always, I hope everyone has an awesome day. We'll see you next time.